Looks like we have two runners that are ready to rumble. I actually do not believe it. Okay, we have two ready runners. Two, two, maybe some oil. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, after. <laughs> Pop out all the streams. Nice, nice. Alright. Alright. Then I have to crop your stream in a way to where I can only see the bingo card. I can give you the link, like. Oh, yeah, 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 that's easy. Yeah, do that. Uh, forget the plus at the end. That was a typo. Nice. Alright, so we are getting ready. Uh, so at this point, I guess we should talk about. Uh, this is indeed Celeste Locker Bingo. Prepare the format with two players. Flare Bay SR, the one and only, of Running GDQ fame. Yep. Yeah, you don't and see that. True underscore gentleman, which the, he really cares about his underscore being pronounced. Yeah, he's also the best British sauce player. So yeah, it's a true fact. That's right. And we're gonna have him play on a five by five board. There's twenty five objectives on that board. Uh, the lockout part is uh, like the lockout rule. The name giving rule is that if you get an objective, the opponent can't get that objective anymore. And the one with the most wins, which means, in other words, that the first to get 13, aka over half wins. We also play with some custom progression rules, most notably the fact that you can assist with one chapter if you're liking. So, somebody tell me like the audio balance between Fisher's mic, my mic, uh, the, the, the oh. stuff audio in the background. Alright, who's gonna win this, do you think, Outbound? Uh, Trudent. Trudent? Word. I think he has a better final name, so... Madeline's a little overdone. He's got brother. <laughs> Make a convincing point there. I really do. I'm, I focus on the important things in bingo, really. Mm-hmm. I mean, same. That's how I got second seed. That's right. Alright, I can reveal the board now. Alright, All right. what do we got on this board? So we should be going, and indeed, they're both... Well, they're not both going. Flavor is not going. Uh, Flavor, hello. Oh. Uh, okay, there we go. All right, then, dude. <laughs> sure. Uh, nothing super early. It looks like we got Forsaken B side. Um, all berries crossing, but both of those aren't really worth going for immediately. I would say. Uh, I think crossing can be fine, but yeah. Yeah. I think crossing's alright if you um. Need hearts, which is two hearts, two kit sets, so that might be a good idea. Yeah, it's actually yeah. A, in general, like maybe some reason to play early B sets. So you could play for second B set for complete three B sets and two hearts, two cassettes, maybe? Yeah. Oh, dude, there's Boon, Red Heart City, too. So that's like all berries crossing, you would get that with a heart, and then you could play for second B side, and that's basically three objectives for like three minutes or so. Two and a half, three minutes? Yeah. That's not terrible. And then, honestly, but... you could play, like, you could honestly skip 2A after that, more or less. Like, the only thing yeah. in there is actually awake. And Wait, the two cassettes. But... Oh, yeah. You definitely want that cassette, I think. I think there's no, like, super crazy synergy on the board that's, like, dominating. Yeah, not really. Um, hearts are kind of weak. There's only, like, the most you need is two hearts. I don't even see core on here. Yeah, and berries equally, so like, there's nothing that is like, you know, very objectives throughout the game, like a fixed amount or anything like that. Yeah. So I would assume we probably just see more or less progress for now? Maybe get Crap. one or two Ooh. berries and crossing, I don't know. I want. Do you think any of them will play 1B? I don't think so. Uh, it looks like Flare's going for the heart. Maybe not, though. Is that Flare at the bottom? Yeah, it is Flare at the bottom for me. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, Flare's going for the heart. I think this is a decent play, assuming he doesn't do what he just did. Yeah, Trujan. Okay, he's going for the cassette. Uh, you're quite a bit ahead, by the way. Oh, word. Yeah. Uh. I think with season 3 we'll have like a custom server with lagless commentary, but... 
Den Top, oder? Probably should just watch my stream like. Yeah, all is off. 10 seconds ahead. Off watch your stream. But yeah, you are right. Trujin gets a cassette, and I guess that probably means he might be playing 1B. Shock puts out. That's a manic man. The chair of 1B can see anyway. Yeah, doesn't matter. Whatever. They may the most convincing hardcore ever. Like, he's gonna set the yeah. minute, but. Yeah, I, I was sitting there there in silence, but it was pretty peppo. And then Trujin actually will play 1B, which, I mean, is decent. Yeah, I think this is good, honestly. There's nothing in 2A, so I think you just skip it, honest. Yeah, definitely could. I think maybe after the cassette, even. I don't even know if the cassette's worth getting, but. Eh. And he gets binos. Is there binos on the board at all? No, I was just about to say that. I don't think there's any, right? Yeah, I mean, it's fine to, like, you don't really have a chance to completely memorize the board yet. So yeah. I think it's safe to get, especially since this binos kind of a long detour. True gent, why don't you just do the setup, please? There's actually a very notable lack of binos, which means probably less content, which is sad. Yeah, it's really sad, actually. I know True Gent's been playing a lot of R recently, so... And actually, it looks Ooh. like they will enter 1B2, which is gonna really bite him in the ass. Yeah, that sucks. I don't know what exactly the play was here, I guess... He thought that this wasn't as highly contested as it might be. Because he took a lot of time, like getting the hard and stuff, like. Right. He uh well the thing is, Flair here, I think in theory will get uh red and blue forsaken and gent won't. Yeah, but I mean Trujillo would probably instantly go back to the blue one, I would assume. I would it's assume, but game. I I don't know if he wins that race. I think he might though. He's been playing ARB too, so. He's been getting that heart. That's a very interesting strike improvement, by the way, there. I've never seen it yeah, done like that. That, that was whack. Casual, but... That was kind of whack, honestly. Hey, Fletchers. And welcome back, Select. Alright, and there's first tick. First they can be. Alright. Now he will probably either get the blue heart or no, he instantly goes into two A actually. Yeah, I uh, I think this is fine. He gets two hearts, two cassettes if he gets the first blue heart here. I think at the same time he probably should go back for one A because he doesn't know what Flair is doing. I'm curious if he plays two B, like. 2A is worth skipping, I think, but at the same time, there's complete three B-sides, and you're probably going to want to play 2B eventually. Yeah, that's actually true, it doesn't really... Um, 2B is surprisingly not giving him too much progress. Yeah, the player's struggling with this room. Oh no, he... I think what happened... Does Flair look to the demo button? Does anybody know? It looked like he I... was like trying manual demos. Like, he kept doing downright dashes there. Yeah. Instead of just a demo, which... I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. What's going on I there? agree, Adam. I think you even have to demo them in the first place, now that I think about it. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think you have to demo that. I remember that being a really old strat, so... Trudon sure does get the cassette, but it doesn't look like it will instantly go to 2A... Uh, to 2B, rather, sorry. Yeah, maybe he wants to check me. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still wondering about him picking up the finals, like, <laughs> I'm doubting myself yeah. at this point, but nah, they're not there, like, I guess he just hasn't seen the entire board yet. Okay, so, uh, Trent does decide to play out 2A, which I think is maybe okay. There's, like, this board is so weird. There's no, yeah. like, berries individually on the board, like, there's, like, 20 in 4A, but no, like, 40 berries or 70 berries or something like that. There's no hearts, like... Just a bunch of one-off stuff, like little, like long-term yeah. competitive synergies or anything like that. Okay, it's like saying that Fire doesn't really use manual demos, so I guess he tried demoing then. That's why the downright dash is happening because that's the only yeah. way I can explain that. Um, oh, it makes downright sense. dash like five times. Yeah, 
Neo than the sign to skip 2A by the way, which I feel like could have been a play, but it's not yeah. bad not doing it, like, this is fine, doesn't give it too much time anyway. Work standing still. Uh... Why do I, I not have a sys skip? Bingo UI. Meanwhile, Trujen is going for Jump What's Awake. Uh, Flare is still just standing still, like, just turn on mm. assist mode at this point. Uh... Okay, there we go. Does he have core unlocked, or...? Oh, no, but I mean, that won't matter on... I mean, 9A is not unlocked either for him, I guess, but... Yeah, we're not playing core this board, so... The problem for him is A, he probably gave away his strategy at this point <laughs> by saying in Bingo Chat, yeah. like, oh yeah. It's like, <laughs> oh, you know, I can't assist him. And also, like, with the assist him, he's still not really that far ahead to 3A, so. Yeah. Uh, feels kind of bad for Flair. On the other hand, like, he should probably update his Bingo UI version. Like, yeah. it's sort of his bad. Do you not have this problem against you, or? I. So that's a good question, you know? That's actually really... He might just not have... Wait. Maybe he doesn't have custom progression turned on. Maybe he does have the... Oh. That could be it. Yeah, he maybe he turned these settings off. That's right, it's a setting. Because, well, yeah, there's only... There's only one 9A objective on the board. Which is 5 keys power source. Which but, is pretty bad. Yeah, that objective is ass. <laughs> I feel like 9A is nerfed so much when you don't have any bonus on the board because that's like half yeah, the value of that chapter. Yeah. Um, so in Resort, there's Orb Pico 8. Uh, there's Huge Mass Order, which is a pretty bad one, but not too bad. I don't know if we mentioned the True Jensen 4A. He skips 3A, which I think is probably good. Uh, he fucks up his 1-up. That sucks. Or maybe he doesn't want it. There's no reason to get a 1-up, so he doesn't. Never mind. Yeah, you're probably just looking for 20 berries in 4A. Right. I also get crap as presidential speech from the 3A play, by the way. And yeah, in okay. The time, maybe Trudin plays 4B here, honestly, although I don't think he should. I definitely think he should not. He sure is getting the cassette. Uh, I mean, eventually, but not yeah. now. If he does it now, he's throwing. There's like no binos. Yeah. There's 20 berries for a. And I mean, it will get him his complete three A sides too if he finishes this out. Well, he'd have to go back and finish one A, but that takes like 20 seconds. He could pair that up with uh, Dashless Chasm actually. That'd be sick. Ooh, you're actually right. Yeah, that'd be actually super sick. Yeah. That's actually a high IQ play. Yeah, alright. Fin yeah, finish 4A, then you finish City and do Dashless. There it is. That's the play. I would agree with that. And I guess Fred's probably just gonna play 3 in the meantime for the next like 4 minutes ish. Yeah. Um. Why does he use the block? I'm so mad at True Jump. What the hell is that? Wait, you're telling me he does first auto scroller skip, but he grabs the block in that room? <laughs> Jesus. 2019, any percent runners? Oh my goal. That's true. I wonder if Flaybear would. I feel like Flaybear might actually play 4B then after because, like, by the time he gets to Rich, he can't skip it anymore and. Like, yeah. he has to probably make something off of it, although you will give up a lot of progress. How much late game stuff is there? Uh, Summit, as always, has two things. At least. Yeah, let's use three gems and I mean fucking full clear seven eight, like have fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, All berries two K. This grab is unraveling five A, which I guess is not late game, but you know. Yeah. Cringe will still reach that earlier. And get a one up in five is actually really fast. Also I just like we were talking about not many berry stuff. I just realized there's ten berries in three chapters, which I guess is still not oh, yeah. much, yes. but it's actually the first yeah. time I see that. 
Yeah, I think Trujan is getting going to get a lot of objectives out of this because he's going to work towards that ten and three. Like he does all Barry's depths and he gets like ten there, and then he can just go back to like city or site and get ten more. Like he can do all Barry's crossing and get ten from city, and get that objective. Yeah. Like, it's true, and then you get like another 6 from 5A at 1-up. Yeah, completely right. Yeah. Yeah, I think he's gonna snowball kinda hard here. No pun intended, I just saw a snowball on screen. <laughs> Ooh, that's actually, I also saw red and blue on red, but it's actually also pretty good. Yeah. But then you will give up the grabbers and reveling, which I suppose is not that bad. There might be a crossing pad, or like... Converging pass in general for both these guys. Like I assume what will happen is they both play, you know, of course four and five respectively, and then whoever plays the A side objectives, the other person should probably get the B side objectives. Mm -hmm. And the other way around. Like a three four side Sorry, go ahead. Uh, uh you can go ahead. I was just saying like if, if Trujan plays like five A F like five blue and red hot or whatever, then Brady should probably go out of his way and then play Corrupts and Reveling and finish five A instead. And the other way around, like Probably should also probably now do um, 4B because that's all there is, kind of. Uh, okay, he's, he's getting his 3A sites now. I think he should pair this with Dashless. But I was going to say, once... What is Flurry doing? He turned on very well because... Alright, yeah, he just doesn't have... Whatever. But yeah, I was going to say for Trujan, um, or Flurry rather, once he finishes 3A, I think he should go do... Or finish his... Um, Berries and crossing, because I think True Gem's about to get that. But well, I think he's going to get it first anyway. Yeah. Like, sure I think like... True. Yeah, he's going to do it now. Yeah. So this sucks big time. Yeah, Luke. So on the on the flabby thing, like um, he's either on an old version, which I don't think is happening. I think what's happening is he turned up the setting for some reason. Because yeah. of the Russian setting, so that's why you have some money to go do assist get very mode and stuff like that. Which sucks, but you know. Also kind of his bad. For all the bingo players in chat, like you definitely, definitely, definitely want to check that stuff before the match. Bro, Flare kind of owned this grab with sweet. What the hell? <laughs> uh, so he doesn't die here, but yeah. Yeah, that was actually really sick. Although grab with sweet is not that yeah, it's much not that different. Bad. Game though. Sure as fuck, gamed it up. Alright, yeah, Flurry goes into 4A. Uh, yeah, I think. I think it's Trujan's game to lose now, honestly. I don't think it's that bad because it's not like. Like, Trujan will definitely have a probably decent lead from this eventually. Mm -hmm. From the proxy advantage he has, but I feel like it's not insurmountable because it's not like. He's snowballing like some crazy synergy. Like it's still like a bunch of one-off stuff, and I guess he would probably force Flavor into a situation eventually where he just has to take a bunch of gambles. But I mean, those are winnable. Yeah. yeah, I just feel like the main thing is that like Trujan can do all the shit he's doing right now. That's like non-progress related, but he can do all this and be even in progress with Flair basically, or he can even be done after this and then get berries and depths and have ten and three. Yeah, but how much is he getting all that? Like. Three or four objectives? Something like that. So far, I definitely think. More or less tight, so. I don't know. He's definitely gonna go ahead, but I feel like this is still one of the there. This crossing is also kind of scuffed, so. Oh yeah, he got it. It's berries. And Flare Shirts sure like making his way over to the cassette, by the way, which, again, I think might mean that he would probably play 4B. Yeah. I definitely think Trujant should have done Gravelous Chasm. Or not yeah. Gravelous, uh, Dashless. He definitely should have. I agree, 100%. Yeah, it seems Flare is doing 4B. Yeah. Oh, Flare's like... What? Oh, is he... Or... Oh, okay. Yeah. I think this is maybe okay, or not. I think Flare, if at any point... Uh, like... I said that weird. Like what I was trying to say, I think it was just trying to think about going back for uh, the cat yeah. we just mentioned. But he will be play 4B now. Which he will probably not get a whole lot out of for a long time, but this will actually tie them up in B side as well. Like, we shouldn't only play 1B yeah. so far, so. 
Which means Fire can go back for 2B, but meh. Probably wants to do 5B instead. Yeah. And I imagine True Gen does 5B here. He doesn't go for all various depths, which is surprising to me. Um. That's actually a good point. Yeah, why doesn't he? Especially because he could pair it up with the 10 and 3. Yeah. Does he think that Frogs is more contested? Surely not, right? Maybe. I mean, whenever Flavor asked about the skip, he could be thinking it was skip 2A. I mean, skip 3A, rather. Because it was similar timing. Yeah. I'm just gonna tell Flavor to turn uh, to go through a different fire, by the way, in case that he will need 9A. Yeah. So if you hear my keyboard talking, that was up. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of wondering, I don't know. <laughs> Trichet has four cassettes. That's a lot of cassettes. Should definitely get this seeded berry at least, but alas, he does not. Oh, flavor. You really gotta press jump. <laughs> What are, honestly, like, what is next for Trujan after this, like? He will get the blue and red hearts here. But he then... didn't get the blue heart yet, yeah. He definitely should have done berries and depths. Definitely should have done that. Uh, but I guess he'll go back and do the one-up too. Uh, yeah, Reflection Cassette. Definitely should do that. So this interests me as Flavor Scream, like, cut off at the bottom. I just realized, was that there the entire time? It's Am a little I cut off, I think I noticed. I think I noticed it was a little cut off, but it's whatever. Alright. You can blame him for that. <laughs> whatever. Yeah, it's cut off on the right side of it. Ah. Kind of bit. It's probably just scaled up a bit, like, too much. Maybe. Dude, this room is sucks. I hate this room so much, actually, on yeah. Flavor's screen. This is a worse screen for B, no question. I hmm. I think what? fast right at I think fast right at least it's garbage. It's that fastest threat than what he's seeing. Uh the whenever this platform moves up you can dash jump off of it and upright dash past the spike oh. and that threat is terrible IMO. I hate that threat so much. Oh wait, no, that's I think that's what I do. I mean that's pretty much the same speed as what Yeah, I'm pretty sure you do that. The screen isn't too bad, but for his own. I mean, that, that, that strategy you said kind of sucks sometimes because I feel like sometimes you just get too much momentum or too little momentum for like no reason. Yeah, exactly. I was like saying this fast away, what the heck? There's a really crazy thing you can do. Yeah, you can do a tight ultra. And I, I almost started doing that because I found it like just as hard as the strat everyone does. Hmm. Something stupid. It's a little sucks. Well, I guess I have small work to do. So they're both getting close-ish to finish up the respective B-sides. Mm -hmm. um, of course, I true gen out of this will get complete three B-sides, and then blue and red heart in Temple. And Fire will just get complete... Uh, Wait, this isn't the third B-side for him, is it? For true gen, I think it is. Didn't he play 2B? Or no, he didn't! Aha! Yeah. Aha! He, I'm wrong. He would have definitely more pros if was that though, but if he wants to get that objective at any point, he still has to... Yeah. I think he even... Does he even have the cassette, actually? I think he has, but I'm not certain. He, he has two A cassette, definitely, because he got two okay. or two cassettes, yeah. But even then, that's still like a two-minute objective at any point yeah. if he wants to play 2B. I guess he could maybe, like, pair it up with 3B, although that seems like a bit of a stretch. I feel like in the first place he should have done 2B instead of 2A. Probably. Uh, I mean, yeah, although he did snipe away the... Complete three A sides at some point, so That's maybe not. But before you can have that, he's on three. He doesn't hasn't finished one, but it takes like twenty seconds. Uh, all right then, dude. All right then, dude. I the thing is, I don't even think this is a content play. All right then, dude. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he does get he does potentially snap to three. B thingies, and he also gets another objective. Like, there is Celestial Resort Blue and Red Hat on there. 
Yeah, so he gets two from this, but then he's so far behind in progress, I feel like. He should just do 5B. But, like, the, honestly, the thing is, does, does, uh, does Trudium win from progress? Honestly, I feel like not, right? No, I don't think so. But, I mean, he can... He's going to do all Barry's steps here, surely. No, he's not, actually, unless I'm... No, I think he's just getting the key for the blue heart. Okay. Well, he should do Alberry's Depths, and then he would get 10 and 3. And then he could get Reflection Cassette, and then he'd go back for Dashless Chasm. Which is like 9 up to that point, I think, or something. I don't know. 10, maybe? Yeah, something like that. So I just realized that game was a lot more stacked now. I thought it was at first, because I did not really realize that both Reflection Cassette is on there, which is really easy. I thought it was only the hottest thing. And also 2k berries are actually there, which I saw but kind of neglected, but I guess that actually ties in decently well. I mean, mm -hmm. it still takes a lot of time. But I mean, how much late game is there? Like, there's the 2k berries, there's all collectible 7a, reflection cassette, reflection bottom hollow road, whatever. That's like 4. And then 3 gem summit is 5. I don't know, Chief. I honestly kind of can see this play from player, like, unironically, even though... I'm the first one to tell everybody that 3P, uh, 3B is like on almost every board, just don't play it. <laughs> like, there's very few boards where you actually want to play this for anything other than a tiebreaker, but I can kind of see it. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like there's some other things he should have cleaned up first that he's able to get right now that Flare or that True Gent would also kind of want. What else? Like, I'm very. Like. The Dashless Chasm, I know I said Dashless Chasm like a million times, but it's so fast and easy, honestly. Yeah, okay, I guess that one, that's true. Yeah. And I also, f um, there's something else. I mean, I think you should get the 5A one up, honestly. Yeah. I think you should definitely get that. I mean, I guess so, although it doesn't seem like that Trojan will get that anytime soon, so hopefully Flair will get that at yeah. some point. Also, Trujan, by the way, in the meantime, while we were talking about this immaculate 3B play, he's playing 5A in this um, Crabbers and Reveling. Which, I mean, I can maybe see? Yeah. Definitely makes it even harder for Flair to get anything out of Temple. Like, he will probably just waste, like, five minutes without, like, anything to show for it. But, I mean, you know, Trujan's also the... wasting a bit of time. If he, if he finishes this up, this 3B, he could get the 1-up still. He could still get depths too, maybe? I mean, I guess True Gents is done whenever he finishes unraveling, so I assume he doesn't get berries and depths from him. I think True Gent definitely should have worked towards berries and depths more, because. I don't know. I feel like it works for a lot to, for him. Yeah, for sure. By the way, I feel like every time I see 3B in Bingo, it's always Flair. I yeah. feel like he plays this every single match for some reason. <laughs> it kind of does. <laughs> it's kind of whack. It really I don't think is. I ever see this, except for when Flair plays. Yeah, I forgot there was some delay, and I saw that ticked off, and I was like, oh my god, did he do the demo? Because he got that so fast. <laughs> I was about to pop off. Alright, so yeah, Trujent's just done with 5A. He goes to Reflection now. So let's, let's play for Flair. Get the 1-up. I also get the one already up. asked him at this point. Yeah, he has to get berries and depths too, I feel like. Probably. Probably then also combine it into 10 berries and 3 chapters, which isn't all too yeah. bad. Yeah, he could get that. I think Trujent's hope is to get that in Summit. But that's going to take a minute. Because, like, yes. zero meter sucks. Uh, there's a couple of fast, like, there's like two fast berries in zero meters, but, or maybe just one, I forget. Nah, I think they're all fast except for the, like, the first one, first one sucks. Yeah, okay, yeah, I forgot there's that room with two, that's kind of fast if you know what you're doing. Interesting hole in the second floor, by the way, I've never seen that, but... That's kind of whack. Do you think he places up there? Like, he will, Trudor will most certainly get the cassette, but I don't know if he continues through huddles. Uh, what is there to do? Uh, this, this Autograph Hollows? Whack. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Go do something instead. Play 60, honestly. Fucking dare you. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I also dare him, actually. Yeah, 
he sure quits out. And he probably plays Summit. Yeah, sure, you go Summit. Oh. Either that or Kazlum. Or. Uh oh. Yeah, we actually have a uh -oh. race! Uh oh. Alright, I give the edge to True Gen because he's been playing Arb recently. That's true. But. This could get spicy real quick. Did I hear a content warning? Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, for, uh, true gen's winning this, I'll take it back. <laughs> <laughs> you see what Forever did? <laughs> I take it back, true gen's winning this. Oh, what's up, Imida? Yeah, this is life. Yeah, this sucks. Uh, Man. <laughs> Okay, oh. now he's trying to buff strat, okay. Bro, don't do this shit. Not even Bubs like this. What strat. is this? The f <laughs> Gamer. Gaming. <laughs> Alright. There it is. And they are now tied. Actually not because apparently Fred didn't get this berry. Oh yikes. Alright. Yeah, well, hate this nice. What's up tag? What's up not today? Anyway. Dude, I fucking love when you walk up to that gate and then it's like, oh wait, it's yeah. close. <laughs> the gate that literally does not open. <laughs> yeah, I think at the same time, Trujant definitely should have had this objective in the first place. Like, he should have gotten the seated barrier when he got the cassette. Yeah, that's true. And probably also when you got the key, maybe you should have gotten the two on the left up there, like, or left and right rather, like next to the key entrance thingy. That's hard to describe, I mean, there's like two berries next to it, like, whatever. <laughs> there's two berries in depth you should have gotten, okay? Yeah. But yeah, it looks like Trudem, actually, they're kind of tied up, what happened? They're more or less, well, not tied up, but... It's not like a massive discrepancy. Yeah. Mm. So it looks like it's true that it's W on this particular objective though. Aw, oh, sick demo. You ought to see it. Fire is struggling in this room. Unfortunate. And... 10-6, yeah. and at this point, if Trudem wants to be really fucking lame, he just plays Summit, like, full clear. Yeah. <laughs> and Dude. he wins that way. Yeah, you can do Chasm without dashing, and then just not even worry about the all collectible 7A. Or he can finish up his 20 and 4, but I, I this objective is so safe for him. Like He's thinking for a longest time. You go search, you'll have to see that. So we saw some gamer rage slash annoyance from Flair pausing three times. Nice. And, um, okay, he goes 1-up, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can, can we get a shoutout to um, complete chasm without dashing slipping on the board? Like, how, long, how far are yeah. we into the game yet? Like 30 minutes? Quite far. <laughs> like, how? Flair. How does that sit on the board? Get that shit. Flag it right now. Please. Also, he knows he's going for it, though. It's so odd. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. What? Okay. Okay, yeah, do this. Yes. Good job. There we go. Alright, we're just gonna game this up. Wag one up road from Trujan, by the way. It really is. So. I hate this. What is he trying to, like, is he trying to get this? Okay, I just show, dude, whatever. Whatever, dude. What is he doing? What is this one up road? I hate this. <laughs> what does he get next? Does he get the one on the main hub again now? Or what is the plan here? Or maybe the one on up top? You can get to one up top if you collect berries. Like, you can stand on the floor for a second and afford to do that. Uh, I don't know, this is me. whack. He goes main hub. Why does he not wow. get this one before going up there? Like... <laughs> Nutty route, IMO. <laughs> Nutty. Absolutely incredible. And now it's level 6, and at this point, it's gonna no be. No point summit. Like, ball yeah. impossible to plant plan this back. Oh! I can't even. Counter throw? <laughs> They can't even judge if Flair's on the right pixel because cut the fuck off. But... Yep, exactly. Oh, you got it. He sure gets it. 
I'm gonna be real, I was expecting a Goldenberry there, and I was like, wait, where is it? Yeah. Did he dash? <laughs> What's up, Extruders? And Firewaller. Alright, and now surely... Yeah, the Trudent just wins now. Yeah, he plays Summit, and I don't think... I don't think Lyric can even, like, get close yeah, to there's nothing... any game here. Yeah, there's nothing Clark can do about this. So he has to play 9A. Or not. Uh, you might see a oh, baby. content play, hopefully, right? Thank Come on, man. Thank you. He... Ah, okay. He's a man of He's the people, man. He's a man He's of the people. So, I, I, it would probably be up for an audio switch right now, like, just judging off by the time that we spend listening to Polaris audio, but on the other hand, Trudrin is just playing, like, some. Let's just watch the content and play a screen, okay? Yeah. I, I'm, like, tempted to just close Trudrin's stream, honestly. <laughs> We should remove it. Just make it really small. <laughs> it's actually a good call. Oh, I got a Windows sound there. Okay, how's this look? Uh, I feel like Flair has played this so many times in bingo, like, he has to have, like, some idea what he's doing at this point, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, I feel like every bingo match that Flair plays, he ends up in 3B and Pico 8. Yeah, that's actually so true! <laughs> that's actually so fucking right. So I think people should be more willing to do Pico 8, because it's pretty fast. Is he gaming? Oh my, he's so good. Yeah, on, I mean, honestly, to all you Celeste players, like, just learn the pick rate speed a little bit. Like, it's honestly fun. You can get, like, a decent time, like, within literally probably five hours of practice. Probably less, even. I mean, yeah, at least do, like, three casual playthroughs of it. <laughs> That's what I did, and I improved my time on it by, like, a minute. That also sounds good. But just learn the speedrun, it's actually fun. Do it. Yeah. Dude, imagine if you could buffer in Pico 8. <laughs> Damn. That'd be good. Imagine if... I, I mean, this version is fine. If you actually play, like, the standalone or the Pico 8 version, there's, like, so much input. Like, it's, like, unplayable. I don't know how people play on that shit. Like, when I did runs of this, mm -hmm. uh, the, the uh, you know, the Pico 8 version or the standalone version was faster, so I played on it briefly, and yeah. it was actually unplayable. I don't know how... Like, the people that actually run this gameplay on that, it's so bad. Like, on, on this emulator version, at least it's, like, playable, but... Why is it slower? Um... There's actually two things. One of them doesn't matter too much, but it's kind of stupid. Like, there's a movement technique in this game where if you don't hold any direction and dash, do, like, a shorter dash. It's like a neutral huh. jump except for neutral dash, which is actually hella dope. I wish we had that in main Celeste, honestly. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Huh. And, um, like, that just doesn't exist in this version for god knows what reason. What? And there's, like, right, there's, like, one spread where it's definitely faster, and then there's, like, an alternative spread that you can do with it. Or, like, you know, there's a couple, like, alternative, like, quote-unquote easier spreads that you can do with it, but, um, yeah. And the other thing is, um, there's a strat in 2.5k, I want to say, something like that. Mm -hmm. I think the room is 2.5k where, uh, like, you just lose time. Um, because you like clip through some spikes and in the normal version it just like works and then this version like for some reason you still die and then still like get the spike clip it's kind of whack. Oh okay yeah I, I I didn't know that was the version exclusive thing I thought it was just somewhat inconsistent that you would just die sometimes. Nah yeah it's always in this version for some reason. Word okay. Anyway. <laughs> we, we get the orb and Trujent does 20 berries for a Aw, uh, Flair's going... he's going very well. Let's go. 9k I deaths in well. Saves like 2 minutes, you right, books. Uh, yeah. Yeah, same. <laughs> Epic. Hope he does a GDQ.
For me, it comes for sushi match. You asked me. Sure thing, dude. Yeah, I'll jump off for a bit. I, I mean, sushi match is not after this, actually. Oh, I thought it was. After this, we have. Uh, I, I wanted to have Comet Vapor, but apparently that's long, and we don't have enough time, so I'll do the other match, which is not as long, which I think is FC Racer versus Wheel. Record it, I believe. Oh, okay, we can put Blue Kong next. I actually do might have happened that one, but I'm not certain. But otherwise, yeah, you can come here. Alright, that's GG. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. GG! Cool. Incredible. I don't think Flavor has realized it yet, though. Hey, Lyra. Uh, what do you think the match came down to, other than of course Flaybear not turning custom progression on? Like, uh, I mean, that didn't help. I feel like what was it again? Uh, three B. I don't know. I still feel like that's kind of weird. I feel like he should have done five B instead, because that he really needed progress at that point. Yeah, that's true. I do kind of feel bad for how far behind in Proxy fell from just the, um, yeah. like the Siskip thing, but then again, like, you know, I'll say again, like, sort of his bad, like, if you play this tournament, please go check that you have that option turn on and everything. <laughs> right. Don't be flair. But, for GG. I don't know if we, uh, I'm gonna do the same as always, interview or nah, you guys' choice. I don't think we had a single interview on here so far. Not one. <laughs> <laughs> Brady says Maybe. sure. Trudan is sitting uh, in. I'm Don W. Okay, they're both down. Cool. So we can hot, uh, ask the hot button questions while I set up the next match. Sounds good. Um, I don't know if I have much to ask, honestly. But... Uh, it's, yeah, you make a point of it. Maybe they have something Hello? to talk about. What is up, True Gent? What's up? What is up, Odison Bodison? Dot hey. Cheapoy666. Uh, not much. What? Did Flair use his assist skip? Because I thought it was like super weird. But he did 4B. So I thought he was going to assist skip 4A. And then it was going to be pretty close for Red and Blue Heart and Temple. But I see him take off Ridge B side. So. Yeah, he skipped 2A. He skipped 2A? Okay. I kind of thought, I kind of thought he did, but I like, wasn't sure, like, considering his progress. Oh no, I, I was surprised might... to see him play 3A. Hmm? I thought I might have given it away because he was like asking, like, how do I assist it? <laughs> I mean, eh. I was like thinking about it, but I just thought he might have gone on, he might have like completed 1A and be like, oh, I don't have to use this skip thing. I should like yeah. ask or something, so. I don't know. It wasn't too big of a tell on IMO. Hmm. But yeah, I was surprised. It seems to play 3A. I thought 3A was like... Kinda mediocre. There's only like Pico 8 and Grad was. And I guess huge mess, but there's only like three objectives. What's up, I, mean, I guess 4A didn't have a lot either. It was like Ridge B and 20 berries, but I don't know. Yeah. Kinda makes that? sense. What's up, Flavor? What's up, Flavor? GG, Did by the way, to both of you guys. Thanks for playing. Flavor, what was the 3B about, actually? We were wondering, kind of. I felt like it was a decent play, but also you gave a lot of progress. Yeah. Oh, he, I didn't even. I honestly didn't even see him tick off Blue and Red High End Resort. I, I completely oh. missed. <laughs> I saw him tick off 3B sides, and I'm like, oh, he must have like just done 5B. Because I didn't see it take off 3B. Alright, that's it. Absolutely incredible. But yeah, what was up with that? Uh, I don't know. Me being dumb. It took me a while to realize like how much progress I had given up. Because uh, I stink at bingo. Yo, can we actually I need, I need more. I need more time to get used to the new like rule set. Because I've been I've been getting owned a lot by like people being smarter with assist skipping than I was. Because I was even in progress 
and had a less objective than Gent when I was already out of my assist skip. Yeah. Yeah. That that's basically what lost me. Yeah. Um, I got, I got locked out of everything at the start because I uh, forgot what the heart code was for City. Okay. And <laughs> it took me like four tries. Yeah, I didn't even go I didn't even get the one A hurt. I just did one B immediately. Cause I'm like if you do one B, then I get B side and uh one heart and then if you don't then I know where you are and it's like fine. I mean, you'd probably get two hearts, two cassettes at that point, but yeah. I was surprised that you ticked that off so early. I was kind of upset about that. What? <laughs> the two uh, hearts, two cassettes thing. Two hearts, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's, it's just because right. of 2A yeah. pretty much, they're like really fast. Yeah, 2A, they're literally both at the start, so. Alright, uh, but I'm out for commentary for now. Thanks for commentary. Having me. Thank you very much. Bye. Archie Boy 666 Yo. You. Thank you. Also, thank you guys again very much for playing. I think we have to get on because, uh, like, we're kind of on a tight yeah. schedule. But also, That's one good. last thing. Flag, can you really quickly go into, like, the main menu and check, like, why the thing didn't work? And maybe a different version or something. I don't can know. You go into mod I'm... options. Maybe you yeah, can turn on the. Check thing. the mod options because it it's might be on. turned off. It's on? Okay. Do you already yeah. check? Is this a past version? Yeah, it must just be a past version. Wait, wait. Probably playing don't... on like 107 or something. Wait, if it's a past version, we will see. Like, can you just go into mod options? Or... Wait, will we? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Uh, wait, it doesn't come up yet. You uh, said it was 07? I th think oh, that's the one before. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're using an old version then. Oh, you're using point 0.3. Okay. Mm hmm. All right. Well, that's a shame. Reminds me, everybody. I, re I reinstalled. Mm -hmm. I reinstalled my mods whenever um, I was trying to fix the Everest lag thing. I don't know how I ended up getting a past version in the process, though. You probably <laughs> just have multiple saved and just copied the wrong one. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys very much for playing again. Again, we have to oh, get on so I can yeah. reach the sushi psych match eventually. But yeah, right. thank you guys very yeah. much for playing. Uh, GG. Yeah, yeah GG. good game. Alright guys, uh, we have actually two more matches today, so <laughs> there'll be there's so much content today. Uh, they will. This one is a recorded match that might take a little bit of time to set up. Just give me a sec. Um, Uh, I'll, I'll hurry as much as I can. Again, we're kind of on a tight schedule because uh, later on there should be Psycho Sushi, so I'm trying my hardest to still be able to get that, but yeah. Hopefully, we can reach that in the meantime. Wait, we have like, dude, we are, group A is almost done. We found two, we found two already. I just realized, holy shit, that's nutty. So let me read. I actually get sort of triggered when people.